Okay. Okay. Um, so, please remind me, who all uh, spent inspiration in that fight? Was it just Ixa, or did Gump spend some as well? Gump didn't end up having to spend any. Okay. He probably should have spent some on the, the, the not getting disease check, but that probably wouldn't have worked anyway, so. I filled in your, your, your inspiration thing then. So it was not clicked. Um, it's okay, so Ixa is the only one who is down, down inspiration? I think so. Okay. You better hurry up and use ours. Yes. Um, so, so Ixa, um, while, while we were taking our break, I, uh, shuffled a deck of cards and drew one, uh, and based on the card that I have drawn, I'm going to ask you a question about your background. Uh, and if you, you tell us, tell a story for us, uh, you'll get your inspiration back. So, um... As a paladin, Ixa, you are op- you are obviously trained uh, trained in battle. Um, I want you to tell us today uh, where Ixa learned to fight and to kill. All right. I told myself I wasn't going to do this, but I don't have any better ideas, so I will. Um, I'll just uh, reuse what I used from Darkwood or. Same idea, anyway. Okay. Oh, okay. So. okay. Uh, yeah. So she uh, was led to find a, a former folk hero like herself at this mechanic. Not, not mechanic. But old that was known from uh, wherever she's from, which I haven't decided yet. Called Colenzo, who was. Uh, Rumored to have similar powers to what she has, and uh, was also kind of a spiritual leader of sorts. Uh, she went looking for him, hoping to kind of learn learn the same things he know he knew. Um, and uh, yeah, he taught her to fight. Eventually, she earlier on, like he just set her to menial tasks, kind of like the the typical karate master getting the, mm-hmm. the students to do menial things to test their patience and to. To teach them discipline, so on. So she got fed up with that and threatened to leave. So he to teach her some, but uh, I guess she didn't. Dogan? Can you hear me? Yes, you went quiet there. What's the last part you heard? Um, something like. She didn't. Yeah, she she was leaving, and then. She oh. didn't. Okay, yeah, so she didn't learn everything she could have, but he she did learn that much. Um, she, he taught her how to fight some, and uh, through some mysterious mysterious means that I have not completely decided upon, she did gain uh, divine powers. So the, uh, uh, your your teacher, um, Colenzo, you said their name was? Colenzo. But K-O-L-E-N-Z-O. No. There. I spelled uh, that in the chat. Yes, okay. I got that now. Uh, so, Colenzo, uh, are they a kobold like you? Yes. So, you said that they, um, that they are a, uh, a bit of a folk hero, uh, with powers like you. Um, what, what feat or... Uh, have you heard that they have? What's like the big story? What what would what would a commoner who hears the name, uh, um, Col- Colenzo, what would a commoner who hears that name think of? What stories are known about them? What have they done? So that would probably be Fortunately, you turned into a robot, and I didn't hear anything except kobolds. He started speaking kobold. A a a, a, a robotic kobold. Can you hear me now? Yes, now we can hear you. 
What's up with you your... You do not your, understand. Uh... Yeah. Okay, anyway, I'll try to recap that and stop me if you stop hearing me again. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Koblenza would probably only be known among kobolds, not most other civilized folk. Uh, and the stories that people would recount would probably be mixed. Um, he's known for having healing powers like, like uh, Ixa has and for being a good leader, but he's also kind of infamous because he uh, is believed to be too fascinated with humans and like high society from the kobold point of view. So mm. like he, people, the other kobolds, a lot of them think that he's just trying to, like he's too good for them kind of thing. Mm hmm I see. Okay. Um, you may have your inspiration back. Yeah. Okay. Mark okay. that. All right. So, the new day comes. It's raining again. Uh, Sounds swampy. Does this cursed place ever stop raining? It does not. No. <laughs> um, Pildrak is uh, carefully uh, drying off his flute for like the thousandth time. As water falls out the bottom, more water falls in the top. It's like <laughs> your flute is a microcosm of the swamp. With the tap of his cane, uh, Lucas will, of course, completely dry the elaborate feather on his cap. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so yes, so today you will, uh, are you going to continue about your plan to map this hex? Lucas is very keen to do so. He thinks that it will have been a waste coming out here if we don't get something productive done. Mm -hmm. Yep, I agree. I think we should keep doing it. Very good. At this point, yeah. Important swamp research. <laughs> Very good. Um, so, um, I please make yourself happy with whom is in which canoe, and I'm going to assume that canoe one is the lead canoe. Oh, wait, our... Uh... Two of us miserably, horribly sick this morning. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. Thank you for reminding me. Um, <laughs> You're wrong. <laughs> Phil Sticker, uh, you awaken with a powerful fever. You are delirious, um, and you have disadvantage on all rolls. <laughs> He's not getting in my canoe. <laughs> <laughs> um, whereas Gump, Gump, when uh, everyone else is having their uh, their Nuffelbergian Imperial breakfast, um, you feel no hunger. You have no desire. Uh, and, um, if Lucas, um, insists that you eat, you can keep nothing down. Right. That is, uh, that is noisome. What a waste of a pickled quail egg. And all that jam. <laughs> Caught something from the swamp. Do you think you'll be able to make it through the day? Hope so. Yes. But, um... But other than that, you are... Uh... You are alright. Um... Ooh. Okay. Fitzlocker, uh... Chills his own helmet. <laughs> uh, let's see. I got a six, 
so that is all right. He eventually remembers that he can, so he chills Gump's helmet too, if he has one. Gump has no armor. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, so I've switched you uh, switched over our view to a different uh, to a different map. If you'll find the boat there in the wait, top. Wait, wait. There's a lot of things wrong right now. Uh huh. Our barrels are gone. Kildrak is in the wrong <laughs> boat. My bird is missing. Uh, the boats are in a different order. Maybe you're know. also delirious. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, yeah. Obviously, the, the the this has not been updated. So you will need to. Uh, um, I need to copy the boats or the barrels. Um, you'll need to move yourselves around into whatever boats you were supposed to be in. Don't forget the bird, please. Yes. Um, I've got it. Filsticker chills his iron pot, and he gives that to go. There's something wrong. It's like that's a different bird with the same face. It is, because I don't, I can't figure out how to copy a token from uh, one. You click it and you hit Control C. You click the other map and you hit Control V. It's actually way easier than you would think. I I literally just did that and it didn't work, but I'll try it again. Weird. Yeah, uh, Control V is not working. I have no explanation. That was working for me the last time I did a map thing. Okay. But um, I'll, I'll, I guess um, you'll have to just program the new bird to obey me, because it didn't. Okay. There. I copied that one. In that case, yes. um, it, control C wasn't working, but uh, right-click copy works. I, I can't even begin to fathom how that came to me. I don't. I don't know. But, Fuck, our but, barrel's gonna get a disease. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, so uh, here are your barrels. Organize yourselves in these boats. Alright, Killjack Ixa, you're, 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 you're sitting in the wrong part of the wrong boat. And uh, we were the boat without a, uh, without a barrel, I think. Yeah. Hmm. Which is good, because the sick people are in this boat. Uh, uh Philk, Sitter, you're also now in the wrong boat. I want to be in this boat. <laughs> no, you have to come back to the quarantine boat. It's the two sick people and the one person who's strong and healthy enough to maybe not get infected, too, by being near them. You I might have to, um, um, send the boats to back. Because it looks yeah. like um, Kildrat can't get on the boat. He's stuck under it. <laughs> oh. Sure. No, I'm just over here drowning. Don't mind. <laughs> Kill halt with a canoe. Uh, let's see. Tabak. There we go. That looks mostly right. Uh, it looks like we've got two names that are missing. Silas and... Um... Oh, yes. What's the other one? Quarandir. Yeah, this is the the same problem as uh, uh, as before because these are tokens from before. I fixed that. Most of the actual play is us trying to figure out the token system. <laughs> Each episode, a new problem appears. <laughs> it seems pretty accurate. Yes, well, there we go. This is the the downsides of there. There are advantages to roll twenty, and there are many downsides as well. Also, I mean, this is the gameplay. It's boat management simulator with sometimes swamp exploration. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, a game where we plan a lovely boating trip, it's very relaxing. Yeah, we should maybe just forget the whole horror swamp. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go somewhere nice. Let's adventure in the Spanish Riviera. I don't have an appropriate uh, token for these guys. <clears throat> uh, 
Let's just try this word. This is completely inappropriate, but it will it I will use them anyway. Why are they so tiny? <coughs> you like a normal sized human. Oh, did we meet some of the people? Uh yes, you you were going to. Encounter a swamp wagon. <laughs> that is a raft. <laughs> Swamp wagon has wheels made out of wood, so they will float on top of the water. <laughs> so, um, before you see them, uh, you hear uh, crows uh, in uh, in the sky above. Caw, caw. Oh, Baliarica is not happy. She's gonna hide under the seat, under the barrel. Now, is this a normal behavior of crows? Um, you, being uh, the ranger, um, these crows are taking special interest in, in you. Um, the way that they're kind of flying around in a circle of, uh, above you indicates to you that these are not normal crows. Like Possibly, like, uh, trained crows or... Mm-hmm. Yes. Right. Um. Do I recognize the people? Do we even see them? Yeah, you, uh, you wouldn't see them yet. Um. Uh, uh. Do I recognize the crows? <laughs> Maybe. Every crow looks the same to you, you damn racist. <laughs> uh, you, you might. Uh, give me an intelligence roll. This would be uh, background knowledge for you. Yay. Intelligence. 17. Yes. Gump, you know that uh, one of the tribes of the people that you are not friendly with are known as our, uh, the Black Feather Clan. They, Define uh, not friendly. They are... They hunt people. So Sounds they are friendly. very specifically hostile. Usually, yes. Uh, however, recently, um, the... The Nameless Shaman, in his coalition, uh, killed, um, not himself, but, you know, the warriors of his coalition, killed a great many of the Blackfeather clan's men. Uh, they are very few in number now. Mm. So we could probably convince them that we're not a good fight to pick. Possibly. Given that I've got uh, proficiency in intimidation, probably. Do you suppose they'll tell us the borders of their land for the map? <clears throat> we're lucky if we get any words out of them. But we should we should be able to scare them off. They are few in number, and they will probably not risk a fight. Lucas nods, quickly <laughs> hardening his gaze a little bit. He's not a fan of people who wouldn't work and cooperate <laughs> with others, and he's more than willing to go into a fight if these people won't even say where the edge of their property is. Um... As, as you are sailing along, you do see uh, three men um, on a raft. Um, they, their, their exposed skin is uh, covered with like a, like a black mud, um, and their, their clothing is decorated with black feathers. Um, 
they uh, are all armed with with uh, spears, and they have extra spears alongside them. Um, on the raft next to them is a dead crocodile. The um, spoils of their their hunt, it would seem. Uh, they look over at you, um, and they meet eyes with whoever uh, is is looking. Um, but they do not. They have spear in hand, but not like to throw or or to defend uh, to attack. They're just watching you, to see what you do. Ghostaker says, "Ask him about the map." <laughs> Let us not speak. We should continue on and leave them be. If they do not want to fight, then I do not want to fight them. Agreed. I would prefer to avoid a, a combat, a conflict here. As you kind of continue on past them, uh, in 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 a different direction, uh, one of them. Uh, uh, makes kind of a, a caw sound, and uh, the crows, or the ravens, um, whichever they are, uh, uh, fly back down and uh, land on either their outstretched arm or on their shoulders, um, and they just watch you leave. I'm pretty sure if they make a cawing sound, they're crows. If they make like a deep quark, they're ravens. If I recall correctly. Okay. Well, the Irish handbook says yeah, that ravens yeah. speak one language. That's um, for uh, ravens. So if they really. shouted at the ravens to come down, they're obviously right. Well, then they're crows. Valley yeah, yeah. will uh, poke her head out from under the side of the canoe and glare back at them, sort of half hiding, half glaring, as we move a bit further away as well. Hmm. All right. Um... And with that, uh, you you move on. Uh, so now, give me your intelligence cartography proficiency check. Okay. Yeah, we solved the swamp tribe puzzle. <laughs> swamp is defeated. <laughs> Twenty-one. Okay. Yeah. So. You do it. Um, and should I roll for uh, foraging? Oh, yes. If you're foraging uh, along the way today, you can roll for that. Sorry? Oh, oh, Lucas absolutely okay. insists because he wants to mark what kinds of forage are in the area. Oh, yeah. In the season we're in. We mushroom the Critical success. Mm-hmm. I believe that is 1d... Four plus your wisdom mod in pounds of food. Uh, one d six. Looking at the campaign rules document. Okay. All right. Doesn't they have uh, this? Do I get a bonus six. for uh for? He's critting? not that kind of sick. Hmm. Do I couldn't I hear a... you over what I was saying. Ask your question again. Hey. Uh. Uh. Do I not get a bonus for uh, critting, or is that the bonus? Um, I don't think there's a bonus for critting, no. Um, but you do also discover some source of uh, uh, clean water. I'm not sure what that looks like, but... Um, a swamp and, um, jug. Just, that one is 1d4. Just to it, it's, it's a... Uh, an abandoned, upturned barrel full of rainwater? Or just a, uh, one of those plants that collects a pool of water in it. cactus. Leaves. Yeah, that <laughs> makes sense. Uh, so you find, like, a, like, uh, a plant that has, uh, collected a pool of water. Uh, fresh water from the rain. Uh, and so you're gonna get, uh, 1d4 plus your wisdom in water, and... 1d6 plus your wisdom and food. And uh, Lucas is going to write a section in his journal about that, talking about how um, 
the ranger was able to find water and we drank from a flower and make it sound exotic and useful and make him sound <laughs> deeply connected to the land. Mm -hmm. All right, six pounds of food, uh, four gallons of water, by the looks of it. All right. So go ahead and uh, um, you can go ahead and record that. Although we're going to uh, spend all that in a moment, actually, I guess. So, um, yeah. So, um, the night, uh, so your, today was very successful. You have created your map of the area, um, and I'm trying to find a good symbol to, uh, to use to represent that. That is not a freemium thing. I guess I will just go on Google and get one later. Um, because there's no... Well, 20 isn't giving me, like, a good check mark or a map. Or a, uh, maybe a scroll would work. Yeah, scroll that's probably good. Get you. You'd probably make a compass work as well. But, um, really anything will do. Mm-hmm. So, um, how many rations does everyone have left? Because one of us has to eat a ration tonight, by the look of it. I have one left. I got three left. Three. I have nine. Oh, Alright, whoever good. said nine is eating their ration. Oh, <laughs> yeah. We got too many rations. Yeah, I... Uh, but yeah, shall I, uh, cook all this stuff? Oh, please. Looks like it will be... Very ethnic. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. The the kind of person that Lucas is is definitely like shaping up. I think mm -hmm. through like the small things. Yes. All right. Kildrak is going to play a jaunty tune on his uh, recently cleared out flute. That was oh, exceptionally oh, average. Yes. Um, I cook six pounds of food. Because that's what we got. Mm -hmm. it is, uh, yes. A nice fishy stew. Oh, Unfortunately, yeah. despite how good it smells, you just can't keep any of it down. Of course. Poster continues to miserably wander about whatever um, solid piece of dirt we're on, looking for medicinal plants for himself. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, you can roll, but you have this. You can roll for your herbalism kit, but you have disadvantage. Uh, I think maybe oh. Silas will take a break from his like solemn reflection on the day's events and help with. Oh. Oh, all right. I was gonna say he might help you because he's also proficient in herbalism and everything. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know that's what you were going for. Mm. It, yeah, it wouldn't have made a difference though. Yeah, it doesn't, but it happened. Mm -hmm. uh, or maybe not if I wasn't fast enough, but either way. Obviously, we need like some kind of magical declare intent to help flag to interrupt rolls. <laughs> <laughs> you initiate all helps by screaming, I help! <laughs> <laughs> Just marking exploration with one of them for now. Uh, let's see. Do you remember so, at what point uh, from starvation you start taking uh, um, whatever the word that has gone out of my head? Damage? Uh, no. Constitution damage? Or no. like ability score damage? No, no because it's the other thing. Exhaustion. Exhaustion. Oh. Yeah. Um... Is it like after a week? Uh, that might be too much, but um. I, I know don't. it's in this damn book, but the index is useless. 
Can I use medicine to implant food? No. And gum in the stomach? Okay. <laughs> so, comrades, I suggest we consider making a return to the village of Clink. We're not so far out that we save much time by staying in the field, and uh, we can't continue under these conditions. He nods towards the uh, vomiting party member. Like, Fix a nod in agreement. I just want to complain about the uh, the 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 five the fifth edition um, uh, index for the player's handbook. So I look up starvation, and instead of posting, uh, instead of like just saying page one hundred and eighty-five, it tells me see food and drink requirements. <laughs> so then I have to flip well, over in the you. index and look up yeah, food well. and drink requirements in order to uh, um, find what I'm looking for. Here we go. Here we go. I've already done that like, twice tonight with other subjects. I know. A character can go without food for a number of days equal to three, plus his or her constitution modifier, minimum one. At the oh. end of each day beyond that limit, the character automatically suffers one level of exhaustion. So, you were okay for today. Yeah, that's not good, seeing as Gump has a negative two to constitution, right? So, yes. like, one day, and then starvation sets in, that's... So, yeah, we're gonna, in the morning, head back for Clink. Okay. Alright, then. Um, so, unless anyone else wants to make... to, uh, spend some, uh... Uh... Hit dice for the short rest tonight, um... Does anyone want to do that? Nope, I'm good. No. Okay. Shh. <laughs> was, was that a... Well, see, when did hit dice come back when spent in this way? When you take a long rest in civilization. Oh, okay. Yeah, nah. Which involves, like, a full day of, like, relaxation. Like, mm -hmm. no adventure. Okay, so no, I'll just save my hit die for now. Um, oh. And... Well, you may as well because tomorrow night you're oh. gonna. Yeah. Yeah. I'm. Yeah. I'm gonna do it. Um, okay. Fine. Actually, if we are gonna like rest for a day to get them well, then yeah. I mean, I see no point in recklessly endangering their lives to save a day or two of downtime. Like, it's um... not like we have to venture. Deep into the swamp again. We're not putting ourselves at combat risk to head back. We're just when heading you back. Put it that way. Okay. All right. Okay. Um. Oh, and also yes, because it is is the it is uh the the night. Um. Uh, Phil Sticker and Gump, you do get your first save towards recovery of of your sicknesses. This is a con save with a DC 13. Alright. 16. I think you mean 9. Oh, disadvantage. Damn. Because you have disadvantage on everything. Oh, oh god. <laughs> well, at least it wasn't a 1. <laughs> you mean because it was a 0? <laughs> no, because it would have been negative if it was a natural one. Right. Because that'd be impressively bad, but okay. well, it still is. Um, your body um, begins um, to eat itself, since you can keep nothing down. You start vomiting up all of your flesh. Oh no. Yes. Well, you're still sick, and you're not getting any better. But, uh... New day comes. And... The sky and the sun is out. You haven't seen it in a few days, but it hmm. exists. Filsticker grumbles, it's still raining, I just can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes. Uh, so, you're going to head back to the village of Clink. Who is going to navigate, and is anyone going to forage? I uh, guess I will continue the foraging... I'm not continuing to navigate. This makes sense. Um, yes. So, you 
Uh, you begin making your your way back uh, towards Clink. Uh, you know the way for sh uh, uh, fairly well from your map. Uh, uh, you have like advantage six different ways for the navigation check, so you should be good. Um, let's see. Uh, up ahead of the boat, though, when you're about halfway back to to Clink, you see, um, you see yellow lights in the tree up ahead, uh, in one of the trees up ahead. Looks like two glowing yellow eyes looking out at your boat. It's, um, can about one roll 20, 25, 25 feet away. Can one recognize this with nature? Uh, I don't know if nature would be the right, right thing. Let me take a look at the character sheet. Bill sticker. Um... I'm gonna let you roll. I'm gonna let you roll. Religion. All right. Um. Don't approach yet. Uh, Lucas will want to cast this spell before we approach. Twelve. You don't know what these are. Would I be able to roll too, or? Yes. It's a swamp yes. Or... Yeah. Let's see if Silas has collected that knowledge during his hermitage. Oh, maybe. Yes. The locals call these leech chewers. They're the ghosts of men who died of infected wounds in the swamp. And they're hungry for clean fresh blood. If they see you and you have a leech anywhere upon you, they will swoop down and rip the leech from you. Um, and and assault you and steal your blood, basically. Damn, I hope they just take the leeches. <laughs> <laughs> that would be useful. But, uh, Do you know if they fly? Um, yeah, do I? That's a good question. Um, with a 20? Yes. They, well, fly might not be the co correct word, but they, they, they swoop and... Yes. Yes. They are cap capable of aerial mobility. Yes. Calling it flying is a bit of a misnomer, but... <laughs> Never mind my spell, then. If it had been something actually in the tree, I'd have tried to uh, make it slip out. But, uh... Just have well, to pass and not, be prepared. I do not believe any of us have leeches, and one of us also has dirty fucking blood. Two of <laughs> us have dirty, nasty blood, so they probably don't want to deal with us. We got tainted... Well, now we haven't checked ourselves for leeches. In the future, we have to remember to always paranoidly check ourselves for leeches. Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't you check yourself for leeches? I wasn't hungry. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, though, in any case, Silas relays that, uh, you know, telling us so long as no one has leeches, they should leave us alone. Um... I imagine Ixatu might have a sense of them. I forget how the um, Peldon stuff works, but there's something like that, sensing undead. I have to actively turn it on, I think. Oh, okay. And it works to 60 feet, and only if they're evil, I believe. Alright, this is the way I screwed over KSB that one time. Uh, by saying skeletons weren't evil in that setting. <laughs> Just the necromancer. Yep. 
No, not yeah. even them. Yeah. In any yeah. case. Because the necromancers are mortal, so they don't they don't show up to to that. Because you can't detect a per you can't detect people's alignments. <laughs> uh, you can't detect people below fifth level's alignments. Right. <laughs> in any case, yeah. Silas um, watches them and warns the others, but continues, I guess, pushing the uh, pushing the canoe along with the haft of his uh, pike, mm -hmm. uh, just keeping an eye on it, but knowing that it's probably not a threat as, as long as uh, as long as you know no one got got a leech at some point. Oh, hey, a leech! <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, it's going to be one of those days. He is quick. He throws it up. Damn it! So yes, the boat passes through um, under the tree, and there you see now that there are two of these things uh, hanging hanging out in the in around the, this these trees, um, and they watch with glowing eyes as you move past. But since uh, none of you have like open bleeding wounds or leeches. They do not swoop down uh, and attack you. Make your way past, and by that evening, you arrive in the village of Clink. Home sweet home. Yay. Well, um, Lucas is going to go and try to see how much money he can get for the small map we were able to create. Uh, first off, um, you successfully mapped a region and returned, which means you get, uh, at the character levels you are, everyone earns 50 XP for that. Nice. It's something. Let's see. Let's see. Takes, what, a thousand to level up? Uh, only 300 to hit level two. Oh, okay. You're but right. From, you're right. From like, if this was like third edition, uh, it would have been a thousand. But um, fifth edition has you getting through levels one, uh, one and two, pretty, pretty snappily. Yeah, ideally in one oh, session okay. each. So they're kind of like a tutorial. Thing. Well, I remember reading a design blog about this that I thought was very interesting. Mm -hmm. So. They realize that for most people who make characters, although they'll make background decisions and things. The character won't really come to life until you've played a couple of sessions. So they wanted to stagger a few of the choices that you make across the first few sessions of play. And to do that, they needed a few short levels to catch you in. But you don't gain a lot of power over that. You just gain more detail in your features as you start to specialize. Yeah, it definitely makes sense. That's how they did character creation in uh, DC Universe Online, and I always liked that a lot. Like, there's a leveling mechanic in it that only existed as extended character creation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, 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 I like it too. It was a good game. DC Universe Online. Okay. So. Um, um, oh, was that. I was going to say, like, I forget. Uh, like what the rolling was. Do we get XP from defeating enemies too? No, like you get no XP for defeating 50 enemies. Fifty per hit dice. Oh no. Okay. You just get to live. Yeah. Yes. The, uh, yeah. The yeah. Game is garbage. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's always my favorite phrasing of it. The reward for combat is your character's con con uh, continued existence. Yes. <laughs> Gumpa's Gumpa's probably going to visit the local apothecary first thing. Hmm. Um. Yeah, it sounds like a good idea. Well, I was thinking uh -huh. we should sell the map first. We have some money to spend at the apothecaries. That's fair. Yep. We should see how much you get for it. Because, yes, if we could afford to buy some thing that gives you advantage on your save or something, we should definitely do that. Mm -hmm. Such a thing even exists in this area. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh yeah, there's all kinds of plants and shit. Yep, but not yep. literally. So, um, so yeah, um, 
You're going over to Daniel's general store? Yep. Alright. So, uh, so you walk in, and you see Daniel there. He's as described before. He's a uh, huge man covered in tattoos and scars. Um, so, we are uh, back earlier than expected. One of our fellows took ill, but we do have something of a map. Uh, if you'd be interested in procuring a coffee, I could make one for you. One more. We'll be in town for a day or two. Well, sure. well uh, let me take a look. What, what all were you able to map out there? Oh, just this area here, towards the uh, southeast of the city. Of the village. I see. Um, well, I'm afraid that on, the, on its own, this isn't, a, this isn't exactly a huge... Uh, not exactly no, a large it's... area. Um, if you don't think it's large enough to sell yet, we can come back. Yes, I would be... I will definitely make an offer if you can manage to uh, get this far out, say, uh, all around the village. Yes, uh, that is the uh, goal of the first stage of our expedition. Uh, thank you. Yes, if you get that much... Um, I will... Well, I'll have to see what, what I can offer you. Um, but I will definitely make that worth your while. Right, well, we'll have to make do with the expedition funding we have for now. Uh, do you have anything that helps with disease? Hmm. Let's see. Seeing if there is anything described as such in the player's handbook, but I don't believe that there is. Um, no, I think you're probably right there. Yeah. If there was going to be an item, it would have been from Fever Swamp. Yes. Um, I'm. I'm afraid not. Um, uh, you're. Um, uh, I mean. Only healer around here I know is the one who went out with you. Um, <laughs> well, we'll have to uh, make do with staff on hand then. Thank you very much for your time. Yes. And please come on back soon. Oh, we will. We've still that map to complete. I'm saying that as Lucas is leaving, sort of waving behind him. <laughs> that is the most ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. Hey, but it'll it'll keep us from getting swamp scurvy. So. Yes. In case you get scurvy, but you couldn't bear to squeeze a lime into your drink. <laughs> for the uh, for the audience who can't see, um, uh, Connie posted uh, a picture of Airborne uh, in Discord chat. <laughs> It seems to be some sort of spray machine that fills the air with vitamin C so that you can breathe it, I think. <laughs> it's like effervescing, yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, yes. So... Uh, so we probably don't have enough time to go out on another uh, No, expedition. we're waiting. D oh, for what? Uh, for, uh, people to stop vomiting. Yep. Oh. Uh. <laughs> oh, well. Is this enough to count as a long rest? We are staying here for as many long rests as it takes. As, as we, yeah. Alright. Fair enough. Um. Which... We'll be up to five. Mm -hmm. 
Christmas. Is, well, uh, it might kill you. Yeah. Well, it, it, should, guess... it shouldn't take more than three, at least, because uh, uh, Ixa can use Lay of Hands to cure diseases. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's where I was going with this. Yes. So, um, okay. Um, two nights go by. Filstiger and Gump, you can uh, make a couple of uh, con saves. Alright. Awful. Damn. Oh boy! I don't. I, that that we we actually we we both actually get better. I think. <laughs> um. Let's see. Bill Sticker had uh, a failure and then a success. Um, no, I only I had a success. I only rolled. I only rolled one so far, and it was a twenty and a twenty. Okay. Yeah. So, so that's with one... disadvantage, I got a twenty. Yes. So that's that's one one success. You need two successes to stop being sick. Damn, crits don't count for shit in this edition. It's not a crit <laughs> because you rolled an eighteen plus two. Oh, that's how numbers work. Shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, well, Phil Sticker has a chance of getting better, and and does it. Does it? I, I cough out Does the little it. demons Does and they okay. scramble away. Yeah, Phil Sticker, see, you just needed some bed rest. You're fine. <laughs> um, uh, Gump, however, uh, you have taken your first level of exhaustion uh, hey. from not eating. Phil Sticker realizes he's not sick anymore and he stops acting like it. It was all in your mind. I felt bad, so I was acting like I felt bad. So, Ixa, your your companion, one of them has has seemed to have gotten better on their own. I but, was trying well, to be a doctor to the other. But but Gump, Gump has not eaten in several days, and does not appear to be to be to be getting better. Yeah, she would definitely try to do something about it at that point, then. Uh, so where is he staying? That's a good question. Um, shockingly, the the setting uh, here does not provide me with, like, an inn or an innkeeper NPC or anything like that. You just gotta make up a horrible name for... Let's have uh, rooms above the general store. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Uh... So, so it I have is, an inn here called the it Syphilitic Horror. Uh, it isn't exactly an inn, but Daniel has stash, has uh, put some. Um, it's more of a more of a hostel kind of situation. Just a bunch of beds in a room, uh, on the second floor of the uh, general storage store. room. Yes. Um, and uh, it gives you very reasonable rates. Okay. Yeah, well, in that case, she'll uh, check there to see if that's where Gump is. And presumably finds him there. Yes. Yeah, he, he would be there, because elsewise he would probably be in, in a place that's not fitting for rest and recuperation. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so she... Uh, Slinks inside, I guess, and uh, asks quietly, Gump, Gump is not better? Uh, is she asking Gump that? Yeah. Speaking in uh, third person. G Gump is not better, no. Yeah, she uh, breathes out a little sigh and uh, steps closer. This may be difficult, but Ixa will try. And then she uh, extends her hand and touches you again, and a, a fantastic golden glow like before. And this time you, uh, well, you immediately start feeling better. 
Yeah. It was five hit points, though, curing a disease, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, so that exhausts all of her power for that until another long rest, but you should be cured. Okay, that's good. Uh, Gump is going to... Uh, for, first of all, thank you. Second of all, he is going to go and get some food. <laughs> <laughs> she just is, smiles and nods once and steps aside. He is very literally starving. <laughs> so, um, if everyone will go ahead and uh, account for uh, four days worth of food for while you're in Clink. Uh, how much is it to just buy food? It's whatever the player's handbook says it is. Five silver pieces per day, I think. Well, that's for rations. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be way cheaper than that. Um, uh, we are so four meal yeah. silver yeah. pieces every day. We're looking at two silver pieces a day, or five silver pieces a day, depending on how much you are. Sorry, one mm. or three, depending uh, depending on how much you want to spend for the food. I don't know how much he's charging us for the inn. Mm-hmm. Probably two. Yeah, two. So uh, you're looking at uh, spending three silver pieces a day out here, or five if you want to eat well. Mm-hmm. Well, if you want to eat, okay. Are you going off of the setting document or the book? Uh, the book, be the book, but there might. I'm, I'm gonna double check. Something weird's going on with that. So I'm on page one fifty-seven. It says for a it's, poor it's lifestyle, one, right? it's two two silver a day. Oh, never mind then. Yeah, um, I think there's something wrong with this uh, page that I was looking at that on. Where? So yeah, poor is two silver a day. Modest is a gold piece a day. Or it is. Hmm. Yeah, a couple of darn picky, so shoot. Yeah, Ixa will opt for the poor food. And I uh, have uh, four days, so eight silver overall. Mm-hmm. So I yep. uh, I spent two days being sick, right? Right. At least you didn't have uh, to buy food those days. Yeah. So uh. <laughs> so how 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 much is it? Um. However, that's for I guess having a. A life, I guess, because they have. That's how much you're supposed to spend when you're doing this downtime. Well, because they have on the next page for if you're like staying at inns and getting food, and it's significantly more. That's what I was trying to go off of, but there are not many like staying at a proper inn where they. But it's like breakfast, lunch, dinner. But like. A poor meal is six six copper uh, per yeah. day, and the poor, you know, I'd the poor, actually poor want to go on a lifestyle silver, table so just like so that I don't have to break silver. up my money into copper pieces. I just don't see where you were getting that that was more. Oh, um, well, it's it's more because it would be a combination of. Uh, okay, it's not more. It's actually less. <laughs> No. <laughs> I think I was just instinctively skipping over the poor, um, mm-hmm. the poor meals because it's like copper pieces. Ah! So right. how much actually is it? Were we able to calculate two? Just just do two silver. Okay, two silver a day. Yeah. Um, That's easy. Lucas actually has to hawk one of his rations to make that last day happen. Well, oh, how the tables have turned when the barbarian <laughs> has 24 gold left. <laughs> <laughs> what? A rich barbarian. <laughs> well, you know... He didn't need to buy armor, I, so, you know. <laughs> didn't I give you a ration? Uh, no, I ate my own food this time, Fair actually, enough. so... No, it, was, it was Gump who I think had to be given food. Yeah, that sounds right. I was like, I'm uh, the survivalist, I'll just eat fish that I catch. Oh no, I rolled a two. Speaking of which, uh, let me double check how much that cost. I will. I have money. I will replace your uh, your given ration. I just and... want two silver, because then I don't have to hawk a ration. All right. I I will uh, hand you two silver. 
and I will you. be smart and buy some fucking rations this time. Good idea. <laughs> Are we able to refill the barrels here? Yeah. Um, Clink, Clink is settled here because they have a, uh, a, a source of fresh water that comes from out of the swamp uh, and then flows into the swamp. Um, so yeah, water you don't need to worry about. You can get fresh water here. All right. Yeah, I would hope you'd let us have free water because even Torchbearer is nice enough to give you free water or wine when you leave town. <laughs> you can't possibly be more cruel than that game. Yes. Um, also, um, since basically you just took a series of long rests, I'm sure everyone's back at full hit, hit points. Mm -hmm. And uh, you definitely have your, your hit dice restored. So everyone can do that. Cool. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Do they sell oil? Yes. I'm going to replace the one I lost uh, committing some arboreal arson back there. Uh, Wise. <laughs> Daniel will happily sell you uh, sell you that. Alright. And I'll probably buy a, a couple days of rations. What are they? Five silver each? Yep. Yeah, I did that too. Well, I got back the one I ate. Yeah. Let's see. Do I need any other neat adventuring gear? Um, an abacus for two gold. Well, we are coming up on the end of when I think we were planning to play. I think possibly. Yeah, yep. yeah. We're we're gonna we're gonna wrap it up right here real quick. But uh, yeah, I'm all done anyway. So yeah. Um. But uh, at one point, um, Lucas. Um, while you Lucas is out, like just walking around the town, um. Uh, a man uh, comes up to him. He's kind of a... Um, he's wiry, is the best way to de describe his build. Um, and uh, he comes up and he says, says, Hey, hey, you're uh, uh, you're from the capital, right? You, you yes. Went out, you went out into the swamp? Uh, that's right. I'm an explorer, cartographer. What can I do for you? Um, did, did you see any of the, 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 the natives out there? Yes, actually. We did have a close encounter. It didn't come to a fight. They'd recently killed a crocodile. Their birds swarmed all around us, but in the end, they left us to our business. you, you got to be careful about those ones that uh, uh, call the crocodiles. Uh, call the crows. The crows. Uh, you know... Um, my buddy, my my buddy, are... they 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 ended up hunting him. I was lucky to get away. Oh, dreadful! Yeah, there aren't actually ones who can command crocodiles, are there? Uh, no, 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 no. no that would be oh, well. Good. Well, maybe some of their shaman. Uh, I, I, I don't I don't know. They they have. Well, there's of, no accounting for magic. Yes, they have. They have lots of lots of very strange powers. So, so, so people say. Um, the, uh, the, the, the people out there, the natives, they, they know a lot of secrets about the swamp, uh, a lot of things, and then they're not, they're not very keen to, keen to share. Uh, and, and like, like no. I said, those, those, those ones with the black, with the black feathers, they'll, they'll, they'll happily kill you and, kill you and drag you back to their. Uh, camp just as quick as a gator. Uh, well, we'll keep on our guard, but I hope that in time we'll all be able to work together here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, what's your name, man? I didn't get, I didn't get your name. Lucas. Lucas Dietrichstein. Yeah. He he takes your hand and he he shakes it and he's like, my name's Sloan. Um, yeah. So, um. A anyway, they uh, if. 
if you come across like you and your 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 group, because I see you got lots of you got lots of like heavily armed guys going with you. Uh, you you guys seem like you can certainly take care of yourselves. Uh, if while you're out there, you manage to um, uh, you do get in a fight with with any of these natives, they 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 try and you know jump you and, and haul you back to eat you. You know, if you manage to catch some of them, you bring them back here. Uh, we have some, you know, uh, we'd like to ask them some questions. You understand? Uh, you you bring one to me, and there'll there'll be a reward in it for you. Hmm. Well, um, we shall discuss the matter, and uh, if we make that decision, I'll let you know. Yeah, I, it's a lot of gold. You br- uh, how, how much you... gold? Uh, it it depends how much they we can get them to tell us about uh, the secrets of the swamp. But uh, if they if they if they're good for some information, I could go. I could go up to maybe 400. I'll let the expedition know, Lucas said, with some trepidation. Yeah. Well, well, you th- thank you, Lucas, and you keep you just keep that in mind. Just you cut you you catch one of those uh, you catch one of those natives, you bring them back to me, Sloan, and uh, and and we'll we'll have we'll have your gold. Do we have any competition? Have you hired any other adventurers to? Uh, uh well, there was a, there was this group of guys who came through the other day. I told them about it. Uh, they seem pretty eager. Um. But it's a big swamp. Well, it certainly uh, sounds like you might uh, find yourself in a bit of a difficulty if you have two groups of people seeking your pay. Yes, I would well. suggest you don't hire any more for the time being. Uh, first come, first serve. Very well. well. First, whoever brings a guy who tells me enough things that I will pay them all the money first to serve, so really the time between delivery and full payout, you know, be pretty long. <laughs> Lucas is going to go and bring this up. Seems uh, a local is offering rewards for a living native to interrogate. There's another group at least out uh, looking for them. We should be cautious. This is probably going to provoke a confrontation that we don't really need right now. Mm. I think they can just talk to these people without gaining their trust. Maybe we can gain their trust if we stopped the kidnap. I only hope to gain... Their lack of concern. I want to make a map. If they want to help me, that's good. If they don't want to help me, is bad. And I certainly am not uh, happy with them, but I wouldn't go to extreme measures to extract crisis. All right. Well, with that, I think that's going to be the end of this session. Um... I hope you all had had a good t- a good time. Um, I did. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. So thank you, uh, Bryce, for watching. <laughs> um, and maybe Dad. Maybe Dad. See you Friday. Uh, yeah. Uh, see see you this weekend. Um, in the strange, shocking case that anyone else is watching, leave a comment below and tell us what you, what you think. Um, there's going to be a lot more to come. Hopefully it can only get better. Um, yep. So, subscribe, and there will be more. And hit the bell icon. Yes. So they get lots of irritating notifications on your phone. (laughs) Once a week. I've never hit the bell icon, and I still get the irritating notifications. Ah, uh, if you don't hit the bell, you only get them sometimes. But if you hit the bell, you'll get a notification from everything that channel does. Uh, yeah. Well, 
Uh, I'm just going to stop the recording now.